I will present the next case and I ask you to answer uh, the questions. The next case, which will be presented, what intranodular hypercrit figures uh, the smaller the smaller nodule contain? So now I present this case. Okay, so I start again. So the question relies on the smaller module, not on this one. But on this one. So what intranural figures does this module have? Not this one, but this one. Now we demonstrate a US guided aspiration of this module. Okay, let me ask you to answer the question presented in the poll. I will wait 20 additional seconds. Okay, now go back to the case. So 20% of you think that the nodule has microclassifications, 40% states that back for figure and around again 20 percent combat artifacts okay so now let's see this module so uh, this was the larger and this is the smaller one i will repeat this video but Please try to compare the presentation of intranural echogenic figures in this and in this case. So I think that the correct answer was for the smaller lesion that it has back or cystic figures. Lines almost lines and naturally many granules. I don't say, uh, speak that, that I'm absolutely sure that this nodule does not contain microclassification, but it surely contains backpole figures. If you compare this uh, benign lesion, uh, this patient underwent surgery, it proved to be a hyperplastic nodule, but the larger nodule proved to be a papillary cancer. Uh, and these figures in the larger nodule uh, should be interpreted as microclassifications because histopathology disclosed that this large nodule contained numerous uh, uh, microclassifications. Uh, uh, I start with the first video without this enlargement. So there are many granules in the smaller nodules, but this is an absolutely different uh, pattern. This is very close to the so-called starry sky phenomenon. And this, these figures in the smaller nodules are mostly related to ventral cystic areas, not large, but small, but uh, almost all uh, are located dorsal. And in this case, a very limited uh, amount of cystic fluid uh, can be seen.
So this was not an absolutely successful aspiration. We did not uh, know, uh, did not see the tip of the needle. While in the event of the malignant nodule, we will see here the tip of the needle now here. So once more, the other video. So not uh, the brightness of a hyperechoic figure matters. These are much brighter, these one, uh, than these here. Uh, but the pattern, it is located towards the sinusistic areas, uh, while these figures are found in solid part. Microclassifications, I think these are not microclassifications. Okay, uh, <clears throat> an experienced investigator has the advantage of examining uh, ten thousands of patients, but I think it is uh, worse uh, to repeatedly view this video. Uh, it will be presented uh, on the website. Uh, uh, you uh, will got an impression by comparing this benign with this malignant uh, nodule. <coughs> so, 20 of you stated that this nodule has comatil artifacts. I try to find here comatil artifacts. Uh, I, I, I don't think so. Maybe some figures, uh, for example, here, uh, this structure could be correspond to a dorsal narrowing tail. And here again, so uh, I cannot exclude that this uh, small module uh, have, uh, has um, cometal artifacts, but most of the echogenic figures are clearly back wall uh, ones. I cannot exclude the possibility, I cannot fully exclude the possibility that this nodule has um, uh, microclassifications, but I don't think that uh, we should uh, uh, unequivocally state on a medical report that this nodule has microclassifications. We can raise the possibility, but we compare these to this has, this might have microclassifications. Questions, comments? <clears throat>